Well, I tell you, it was one of these terribly windy nights, blowing a gale, a gale of, of wind, and it was sleet and snow. It was really a nasty, dirty night. Quonset huts blew down in Iceland. We were on our way to Newfoundland, and we had winds of 85, 90 miles an hour. Four o'clock in the morning, we hit 200 foot cliffs with both destroyers and the supply ship with this tremendous crash. There was only one possible way of survival, and that was for these people to swim against the current under rough, rough, rough conditions uh, and through oil for the last 50, 60 feet. There were young boys, like 19, early 20. They were so frantic. And you know, when you cry for your mom at that age, right? The rescuers with ropes around them were going out in the water and trying to encourage the sailors to continue to swim. The women play just as an important oh, yeah. role and, I mean, saved a lot of lives. So many sailors clamoring for their lives and men trying to save them and rescue them. And some of them having, having them so close to saving their lives and then a big sea would pull them away. You'd have lived through it, really, to realize just uh, how touching a story it was. 